Hi, I'm Tony Northrup, and for the book Stunning Digital Photography, I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark, to talk about composition. Now, when most people want to capture a, a building, they tend to shoot it straight on, like this. And that's a lovely picture of a beautiful place, but it doesn't have any depth to it. It's a completely two-dimensional picture. And one of the things you should strive for when composing pictures is to provide a three-dimensional scene. One way to do that is to show something in the foreground. So I can do that easily here by zooming out and showing a bit of the water that's in the foreground. So that picture is much more interesting and it shows much more of the area because it shows the water and the boats as well as just the buildings. But you can make the picture even more interesting by turning at an angle to the subject and showing some depth. So I'll take another picture and look down the uh, waterway. Now as you can see that picture shows much more of the scene and it's also much more interesting to the viewer because it has depth to it, both a foreground and a background. When you shoot a three-dimensional picture like that, however, uh, you add an additional talent challenge, which is getting everything in focus. The depth of field is the part of the picture that's in focus, and it's always in a plane parallel to your camera's sensor. So if you have depth in a picture like that, only the part you focus on is going to be truly in focus. The rest of it's going to be a little out of focus. You can fix that by using a higher f-stop number. A higher f-stop number increases your depth of field and makes the background more in focus. Remember. The f-stop number controls your background sharpness. So for higher background sharpness, you want a higher f-stop number. You want to blur the background, lower background sharpness, lower f-stop number. So let's talk about incorporating foreground elements to show even more depth. We'll move to a different location so we can show, show a couple of elements in the foreground of this same scene and see how that impacts the composition. So here I found an interesting foreground element, which is this anchor. It's kind of the symbol of the area. And including it in the foreground is going to increase the depth, provide more context to the area, and generally make the picture much more interesting. So let's take a couple of pictures and see what it looks like. So as you can see, that provides a much more interesting picture, and it shows the area better. If you like this video, you should check out Chapter 2 of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, which covers much more aspects of composition. Uh, you can get that at Amazon or on iBooks if you have an iPad. If you like the video, click subscribe above to see more, and please click like down below. If you have any questions for me or if you just want to see more pictures, uh, visit my Facebook page, which is Northrop Photography. Thank you.